Uh, hello guys, Wesley here. So today we are going to see how to integrate a chatbot into your website. Now, with the introduction of AI, things have we've made things quite easy for customers to learn more about you. So with the help of a chatbot integrated with the AI, you can make this easy for customers and clients to know what you offer before they actually contact you. So let's see what we are talking about. So in my website here, I have a live support, live support widget here, which is integrated with the AI chatbot. So in case there is no one online to respond to queries, the AI takes over and responds to clients. So let's try this and see. So I'll launch this here and uh, open it here and let's try this and see. Uh -huh. So there we go. So see, so the moment you do that, there we go. You can see that the AI responds automatically and tells the client details about the query that they asked. So for example, we can, the client can ask, uh, you know, there we go. So the services that we offer. So you can see the AI takes over and gives the details here. Now, the other thing can do is uh, what? Uh, so we want to see the packages that we offer. So let's see if the AI will get this right. Okay, there we go. So you can see that the AI responds and gives details. So here they are telling you that you offer the startup, you have a startup package, you have a standard package, you have a business package, uh, and so on. So this is what you're going to do today. So we are going to try and integrate AI to a client website. So I'm going to walk you step by step so that we see how we can do this. So what you're going to do, uh, I have this website from a client who wants AI a uh, chatbot integrated to it so that customers and clients can be able easily to find details about what they offer, their services, and uh, some pricing details. So what you're going to do is uh, we are going to add the chatbot to this site. And uh, the, the chatbot that you're going to use is a uh, uh, two. So this is what you're going to use to integrate these are uh, AI chatbot. So here we are. So the good thing is that the, this thing is free to use uh, with some limitations. If you want more, more, more packages, you'll be able to cough some money. So what you're going to do here is uh, the first thing you need to do is to sign up an account. So in my case here, I have an account. So I just log in here. I'll provide my details. There we are. So after logging in, this is what you get. Uh, this is what you have. Uh, so at the moment, I have my property listed here. This is what you've been interacting with. And you can see some of the activities that have been happening here. So if you're doing this for the first time, you will not have these, but you'll have the option to create a property. So if you come here, you have this option for add property. So in my case, I have a property added. So for you, you not have that. So let's do that. Add property. There you go. And uh, this company is called uh, Senclean. So that's what we'll do here. Senclean. Then they're asking for the URL. So we'll grab this URL here and uh, paste it here and uh, proceed. There we are. So there we are. We are done. So what you need to do is uh, we need to copy this code and uh, add it to the body section of our website or if the client is using wordpress then you can just download the plugin and uh, install here so my client here got his uh, website built using wordpress so we are going to do that so we're going to do is uh, we're going to log in to wordpress here i am so we are going to go to plugins and uh, add a new plugin here and uh my what we need is a twerk dust two 
and there we are it's here so install now So the steps are quite easy. It's installed. We are going to activate that. And there we are. So our plugin is activated. If we scroll down, we should be able to see it's here. So we need to go to settings. Okay. If you don't get it from here, you can just come to settings menu and you'll see it twerk the two. So on settings here, we need to click on account here. So there we are, account. So if it's the first time you're setting up, it asks you to log in. So you just enter the same, the same uh, email and password that you created for when you are signing up. So in my case here, since I've logged in, I'll come here and you can see the property to release the properties that you have. So right now we have uh, the send current property here and the widget that we want goes with the same company name there we are and we'll say you selected widget and that one is done successful so what you need to do is come here and click on save changes perfecto so back back to our truck administration area here now we need to click on done here perfect there we are so this is the overview of how a property looks like the status right now it is active so if you come to channel here you can see your chart widget here and there it is and you can customize it for example if you scroll down and you come to widget color here and you click on advanced you can see how your widget looks like this is where it will appear on your website which you can be able to change using this section here so right now it's a bubble you can click on this to show the online so I'll go with the bubble. That's what the current wants. Then there is this attention grabber here. It says we are here. That one can be disabled from here. It's gone. Then on the mobile position where you want it to appear, you also select from here. So for example, okay, let me go back. Example, you can see the desktop, the way it appears. So you are the one to select where you want it to be. So in this case, my client wants it to be on this side because they have a WhatsApp chat button on this side. So I'll press it there. Then the colors can be able to select your colors from here. You can see how it's changing. So I'll leave that the client to customize the colors the way they want. So if you're happy with that, just click on save. Save successfully. Now if you come back to your website and you reload the site. We should be able to see our chat live support widget enabled. So let's see. There we are. So you can see our widget is there and you can start your conversation there. Now the widget is done, but now in this case, it is just for live support. In case you type here, you need an agent to respond to these. But now we need to use AI to be able to respond to these some of the questions. So to do that, we come back to our twerk.ai admin area dot to sorry. Then we need to come all the way to add-ons section here. And on add-ons, you can see the AI assistant here. So we have a free version and a paid version. So let's see that. So activate that. There we are. Uh-huh. So can see what comes with this you get apollo ai bot which this is the bot that uh, responds to customers queries then you have smart reply and you have some ai commands that you can be able to use to respond to your client quickly and faster so let's get this thing set up by clicking the activation now there we are so you can see what you have here we have the free tire we have the growth the business and the enterprise version so it's up to you to see so for the free, you get uh, 100 messages, uh, data characters, 500,000. So, so it's up to you to choose what you want here. So since my client wants to test this before they decide on an upgrade, we'll select the free version first of all, so that they'll be able to test, then they'll be able to decide whether they'll do the update. So free, and uh, click on activate now. So thank you. So we are done, so we need to continue the setting. Here we are. 
So they'll need us to share our data and some other details so that we can assist the AI to be able to respond. So let's do that. So set up the assistant. So the first thing here we need to provide is the website URL. Yeah. So grab that again quickly. Let's see there and add. Now what happens here is the AI will crawl through your entire website, picking data from each single page and each blog and all the products that you have on your site and adding them to its knowledge base so that whenever you ask a question, it will be able to quickly check the knowledge base and uh, give you a feedback depending on the question that you ask. So this will take some time. So as this works or continues, you can just click on next here. So you can see what's doing here. You can see it is picking the product. And if you check these products, these are the same products I think the client has here. Yeah, so you can see, you can see all those. So the AI is uh, walking or crawling through the entire website, picking all those. So this will take time, but uh, the good thing is uh, we can just continue here as that continues. So this is the chatbot persona. How do you want to call it? So at the moment it's called Apollo. You can just give it any name that you like. Uh, in this case, the client would want you to go with the company name, Sencren, uh, position title, AI assistant, that's okay. Then you have the short description here. So this is the description that the AI will use to respond to whenever someone has tell me about the company. So in this case, to make it easy, just grab the about uh some section of the about section about the company then just uh, put it in there done hit next there we are so we are still processing our data but uh we are almost done here so as this continues let's just click on this finish button here so that we see what to do next so there we are so we are almost done so what you need to do is uh scroll down here and what you need to do is uh, come to this section that says behavior. So the behavior here is uh, we need to set the availability of our AI. When do we want it to respond? So I'll click on the setup here and uh, you can see the timings are off. So what you need to do is just turn it on and enable the time that you want the AI to respond. In my case, I prefer setting it for the entire 24 hours simply because uh, if you're not there, the AI can respond. The moment you walk in, you can take over the conversation from the AI and continue responding to the client. So at the end of the day, there is no harm done. So for all the days, we'll do the same. Uh, up to there. From 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. So just do for all the days. Okay, yeah, two more to go. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. There we are, so we are done with all those days. And uh, don't forget to select your operating zone here or regions. So in my case, my client is in Nairobi, so that's okay. So I'll just click on save, that one is done. And uh, close that. The other thing that we need to do now is uh, we need to come here and enable the AI to start responding. So we need to turn that on. And uh, for smart reply, we can turn those on for the moment we take over the reply. We need uh, smart replies to kick in so that you'll be able to respond to our clients faster. So yeah, that's it. That's done. That's done. So website, let's see if it is done crawling the data. So. All right, I think I think it's done. I think it's done. Okay, not yet. Uh, still. So this will depend on the size of your website, on the content that you have on your website. So the bigger, the bigger the website, the more the content you have, the more time it will take to do this processing. So let's just save that, and uh, we let it continue doing its work. Uh, okay, saved. Then we need to close that, and uh, yeah. We are done, we are done with that. We are done with that. So back to our website here. Let's reload this website and see what we get. Okay. 
Okay, so here is our website, our chat widget is here. Let's see, powered by AI. So just click on that and uh, let's test this. Let's say hi. Okay, perfect. You can see our AI responding here. You can see the name and uh, the title. So we said hi and responded here. How can I assist you today? So let's continue. Tell me about your company. There we are. So I remember the short description that we gave. Uh, here we are. So it picks the details here and uh, gives the description here. Now this one went ahead because I think it picked some other uh, data from the about page here, which it included here. Okay, let's continue and see. What products do you have? Okay. There we are. So you can see it gives a list of several products here. You can see, you can see, you can see. Okay, now let's try and see which can give us the price of these products. Uh -huh. Let's see. What the cost of that product? Let's see. Okay, perfect. You can see that it goes on and checks even the product and gives you the cost of that product. So this makes it easier for your client because they just need to chat with the AI and they get the details of the products that you have. Can I make an order online? Let's see. Yes, you can make your purchase. So there we are, guys. There we are. So you can see we've turned this website to an AI-powered website where clients are able to interact with the website without you having to necessarily be there and get details and information that they need. So let me know what you think about this. And uh, I'm sure my client will be happy and they'll, be, they'll want to... They want to upgrade to another, to a higher version so that they don't get the limitation of 100 messages. But uh, you can see here, if I come here, you can see where or what the AI was doing. So in this case now here, I can just join this chat and I can reply to the client directory. Okay, I need to, um, okay, join. So there we are. So I can reply to this client. Hello. Okay, typing error. There we are. How can we help today? So remember now I'm taking over the chat. So if I come back here, you can see now I've taken over the chat from the AI. Now I can be able to chat with the client directly. Now, the good thing is uh, with this uh, twerk.to, you have the option of getting the desktop version. So here we are. You can download and install the desktop version the way I have done here. And uh, at the same time, you can get the mobile version. You can install the Android app or the iOS app on your mobile. So at the end of the day, you will not be able to miss any chat from your client. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think about adding AI to your website and uh, if you think you can try this on your website and uh, if it will help you grow your product and reach more clients. So thank you and remember if you like this video kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that notification icon so that you don't miss the next video and uh, if the video is helpful share with your friends. Thank you. Till next time. I'm out. Peace.